Assalamualaikum. I'm Mai Sarah. Hello, I'm Nora Zah. Hello, I am Nur Iman. In thermodynamics, one of the things that we learn is refrigeration. You guys know what it is? So understand more the thermodynamics principle of refrigeration. It shows refrigerator as one of its applications. Do you know who is the first person to invent fridge? Then, what are the components that involve in the refrigeration unit and how it works? We are also going to talk about the improvements that have been made in the refrigeration unit in the past, present and also future. Finally, we will see what is the conclusion and what have we learned throughout doing this mini project. During 18th century, William Cullen designed artificial refrigeration using partial vacuum. Then Oliver Evans invented a closed refrigeration system which used compressor. Jacob Perkins constructed the first practical fridge. John Gurry is the first person that used compressed air in the system. Alexander Twining used the principle and began selling the fridge with vapor compression system. Fred W. Wolf developed refrigerators that suit for domestic use. And Alfred Mellows is the first person that created electrical refrigerators. This is the example of a refrigerator. In a refrigerator, you will need this five main components for it to function well. First, expansion valve. Second, compressor. Third, evaporator. Fourth, condenser. And last is the refrigerator. In expansion valve, an expansion valve which controls the flow of the liquid refrigerant into the evaporator. Compressor, it consists of a motor that sucks in the refrigerant from the evaporator and compresses it in a cylinder to make a hot, high-pressure gas. For the evaporator, it is used to cool the stuff kept inside the refrigerator. It will also absorb heat from the stuff kept inside and due to the liquid refrigerant turns into vapor. Condenser, it helps in the liquefaction of the gaseous refrigerant by absorbing its heat and subsequently expelling it to the surroundings. Refrigerant, commonly referred to as the coolant, it is liquid that keeps the refrigeration cycle going. The refrigerators are based on vapor compression cycle. Refrigerant fluid with low boiling point temperature and good heat exchange characteristic change the state to remove the heat from the inside of the chamber. Then, the heat gain lost to the surrounding through the condenser pipes. Now, let me explain to you briefly about the principle of the refrigerator. Refrigerant is a liquid that enters in the expansion device. As it passes through, the sudden drop of pressure makes it expand, cools and turns into a gas. As refrigerant flows around the evaporator coils, it absorbs and removes heat from food inside. The compressor squeezes the refrigerants, raising the temperature and pressure and is now a hot and high pressure gas. The refrigerant then flows through the condenser coils at the back of the fridge, release heat to the atmosphere and cool it back to the liquid. The refrigerant then re-enters the expansion device and the cycle repeats itself. So basically, heat is constantly heated up from the inside of the refrigerator and take it outside of it. Now that we know how a refrigerator works, let us go back to the past and look how the concept of refrigeration back in the 11th century. In the 11th century, ice house was used to stop ice after the winter time. During winter, ice and snow were gathered and then they would use sawdust and also straw as insulation. Fast forward to the 16th century, ice box were innovated and upgraded to a wooden box. So at the top of the box, they would put a large block of ice to ensure the cold air entrapment around the storage area. Now we've come to the 18th century. A professor named William Cullen has designed an artificial refrigeration by using partial vacuum by boiling dye and the ether. This in turn will absorb the surrounding heat. From the mentioned discovery, another professor named Oliver Evans has upgraded the design and using vapor instead of liquid to cool down the system. 
In 1834, Jacob Perkins constructed the first practical fridge. The system was a success as it is the first vapor compression system applied. John Gorey planned to use the system to help his patients who are in fever by applying to refrigeration and also air conditioning. For the current refrigerator, there are three main things that are been pointed out. Which are, the first one is eco-friendly refrigerator, frost-free and design and size. It is defined as less consumed power but more efficient. It costs no harm and safe to environment. Next, chlorofluorocarbon has been replaced with tetafluoroethane which is R134A which is much safer and can reduce noise pollution. The latest version of refrigerator is frost free. It uses electric fan to ensure the circulating of air inside the refrigerator. It is also ensure that there is no ice accumulating in or inside the refrigerator. Lastly, it will make the food last longer and the refrigerator use less power. It has been designed in a variety of size, colors and desirable features including door water. It has a digital control from the exterior door which can be used to control the temperature from the phone and gives an alert if the doors are open. The first feature refrigerator is shape memory alloys. Second, eco fridge. The, free. the figure shows that the refrigerant cycle using shape memory alloys instead of normal wires. The function of shape memory alloys are to reduce the heat from the system. The wires made from a nickel titanium alloy that have the ability returns to its original state which undergo deformation. Wires able to tense and flat where they can absorb and release heat. Eco fridge. This fridge suitable because it has external compartment for growing herbs and smaller compartment which preserve cold air and energy when the door is open. Also provide different temperatures. Flexible compartment for fruits and vegetables including interface screen. Next, dollars fridge. This refrigerated wall can easily to find the food or ingredients inside the fridge. Even though this is just a prototype, but this fridge will consume less energy as the hexagonal pins are cooled individually if it existed. Besides, the cooling features of this fridge only press the pins once. So, in conclusion, by doing this mini project, we have learned so much regarding refrigeration and also its application. From the history to the technology, we also learned that we shouldn't simply take it for granted for all the convenience that he has served us all this while. Without a pass, there will be no future. Here, we gain the extra knowledge by learning the history of the refrigerator. As future engineers, we hope that we can contribute by innovating better technology to the society and environment. Thanks for watching! Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Yeah. Uh. Yeah. Uh.